So Paul and Frank Stringini are a pair of brothers who have a YouTube channel featuring humorous animations and songs that are sometimes provocative and offensive. They are artists with a message to corporate censors. Censor us and we will destroy you. And they also have made this little fun online video game. Uh, they uh, are staunch free speech advocates and American patriots. They're also creators of a video about a real video game they made called Alex Jones versus the MPCs. Uh, and again, uh, you can find the String Genie Bros on YouTube, stringgeniebrothers.com. Now, there's even a Sandy Hook statement where the media says, no kids died, and I hit the guy with an axe. I believe kids died there. They've taken that out of context, but they use that as this point to attack me. But I wanted to talk to you guys the next few segments about what you're doing because creating art, creating literature, creating images, creating ideas is what the establishment's most scared of. So you guys are the cure. So I want to say Merry Christmas to you. Hard to believe that's a politically incorrect statement. And we salute you. And, and, and what's on your mind here on Christmas Eve, my friends? Merry Christmas, Alex. Merry it's great Christmas, to talk to Alex. Nice talking to you, yeah. Well, the thing that is most on our mind is freedom of speech. Uh, there are all these conglomerates, corporations that want to shut people down, like you. One of the reasons we were inspired to make the game was because of what they did to you and the way they distorted the truth. You know, they're supposed to be the people who give us the truth, but they're spreading lies and misinformation. And part of what this game is supposed to portray, it's saying a lot of things, but we are not gonna sit by while they take away our freedoms and they tell us what we're allowed to hear or listen to. We're explorers. We wanna explore the world and know what's out there. And I'm not gonna allow any corporation to tell me I can't hear something like Alex Jones. If I wanna to listen to Alex Jones, I'm gonna to listen to Alex Jones. And I think YouTube, one of the problems with YouTube is it's kind of like the public square. That's what it became. I know it's owned by a private corporation, but that doesn't matter. It is like the public square. And if Alex Jones and I are gonna sit down at a table and have a conversation, it's not the business of anyone around me to, to say whether or not we can have that conversation. And by the way, you're right. The they, they got immunity under Section 230 in the Telecommunications Decency Act for 20 years. They have immunity under saying it's a, it's a town square. So they want to have it both ways. Yeah, that, they can't be allowed to do that. We can't let them get away with this. And we made a provocative video here. This is meant to be provocative because it's like, you know, like when you have the thing about um, Robert Mueller. You know, I want to take out, have that metaphorical showdown. Anyone listening to that could totally tell what you were talking about. But then they portray it like, oh, he was calling for the assassination of Robert Mueller. It's like that never happened. It's ridiculous. And it's like and the, the dangerous thing that they don't realize the danger is. If they don't allow people to speak, what are people left with? What comes next? And so they can't be allowed to win. And that's why in this game, you can't lose because we're not allowed to lose. We must win this fight. You can't kill Alex Jones in this game because we are going to win. And when the sun comes out at the end, that is, and we put Trump's face there, but it's not just about Trump. It's about the rising American spirit that will not allow our rights to be trampled on by corporations that don't understand how critical this is. And, and that they're bringing- well, let's expand on that because there's a lot of older people listening. A lot of adults are like, hey, a lot of them are veterans. You know, they're like, yeah, video games. I do stuff in the real world. If they'll send it to their grandkids or their kids and it goes viral through the young people, which we've already done many times, that's how you get to them is through something like this. So tell people, where do they go find the free video game? Uh, you can find the video game at stringanime.com uh, forward slash npc forward slash index dot html. But you can also go right there on the YouTube channel and you can find the link right there. Yep, right on YouTube. And if you and again, Google that's the String Alex Genie Trump Brothers. Says, that's the String Genie Brothers. But most of our audience, even though we're on TV, is, is talk radio. So spell that out for folks. www stringgeniebrothers.com forward slash mpc forward slash index the best way is to say alex jones versus the mpc's game that'll pull yeah, it up you can find it absolutely yeah you, you could do any search for npc versus alex jones or alex jones versus npc and you'll find us right there on the on the first page of the video or the game will be available there and, and the video has the link to the game i like how trump is the sun smiling down that's a good thing and it puts me in a good mood. Yeah, I, I love that. But I, I want to, you know, I don't know if, how we're going to defeat them, but we are going to defeat them. It's not possible that we can allow this to happen. 
the American spirit and the human spirit is way too strong for us to allow these these poindexter corporate types to come in and tell us what we can and can't say or think about. I mean, it's like they're not allowing you to think about things. And that's well, I want to ask you guys this in the next segment. But let's get into this now. Look, I, I knew they hated Trump. I knew he was good. He brought the economy back. He delivered almost everything he said he could do. Now that he's pulling troops out and, and, re and reforming the prison system, the left could never do it. They're the ones that did it. And Hillary said blacks were animals and all this crazy crap. It's like he literally is like the messiah compared to the left. And they're even more pissed. So I never questioned my support of Trump because gut level I knew it was right. But now I'm feeling even more secure in what I did. What about you guys? <sighs> I do feel good about it. You know, we all when, when Trump was running in 2016, we did another video called the Trump Studded Banner, which was kind of a parody of the Star Studded Banner. That's and available one, on the YouTube channel. As and well. one of the things I wanted to 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 emphasize in that song was that we, these people want to send our children to die in wars that we have no interest in. I have seven sons. I'm not interested in my sons being sacrificed. For the global. By the way, I'm jealous. You have seven sons. That's pretty badass. I I do. I I always love it, man. I, I can say, I am a man with seven sons. That's like that's. Yeah, you know, that's like mythologically seven. powerful, right? Yeah, there's a mythological story there. It's like I want to fulfill that vision. I want to be that man. You know, just like Christ. Well, hold on, I'm a little jealous right look, now. I got three daughters and a son, but you know, mythologically, if you had seven sons in a row. That means the seventh son. What's the seventh one like? He's supposedly the big one. He's pretty amazing, actually. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's, uh, we named him Satimio. There's yeah. only one thing that trumps the firstborn, that's a seventh son. You know that, right? Yeah, well, seventh son, seventh son, right? That's like, uh, that goes, that's back it's into the It's an Iron Maiden song, but it goes back before that. A seventh son in Norse stuff, but also in Romans, like a holy son. So it's a big deal. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Info War on Christmas Eve. Bearing down, trying to build a future for humanity. We don't know if we're going to win, but if we give up, we lose. This is the Info War for all the marbles. Straight ahead, we'll talk to two men fighting in the information war. Whatever you do, spread these links and tell folks about local stations. If you don't, Hillary Rodham Clinton thanks you. Stay with us. Yeah. 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 Now, when I was a young boy... It's Muddy Waters and the Alex Jones Show, Christmas Eve, with Paul and Frank Stringini, great YouTubers and video gamers. But let's go ahead and go to a little bit of video and audio of their new already hit video game. Here it is. Animated. This coordinated conservative uprising about being muzzled by liberal CEOs. And I'm coming. The public legal and financial crackdown on Jones works. This is what everybody was like before us. Alex Jones has been behind several right-wing conspiracy theories. I'm an explorer. All right, let's cut back to our friends. There's no one in the studio right now, and I don't know where they got this crazy tomahawk. Yes. Seriously, what are these doing around the office? But there's camera five about 30 feet away. And the question is, can I hit camera five? No training. The problem is I could definitely get it, but that light's in my way. This is going to mess up. I don't want to mess up anything. But this is the kind of stuff you do on Christmas Eve. Let me see. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's all right. Damn it, I hit the light. See, I told you the light was in the way. Hey, I get three chances. Bring the hatchet back, please. God, it just hacked the hell out of the black floor. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I knew the side shot was the way to go. I apologize. Can someone bring the hatchet back? <laughs> We're going to do it. Go go back to Alex Jones. I'll get my own hatchet. Go back to Alex Jones. This is Christmas Eve right now. Me and lied. <laughs> I can't do things in simulation. No, no. You don't approve of it? Oh, no. No one's in here. What's your other room? All right, back to me. Uh, Let me good. see if I can get camera five now, because I was going to get it. It's a good 30 feet away. <laughs> Damn, hit the TV that time. All right, we got to keep going here, because third time's the charm right now. 
with the hatchet. It's Christmas Eve. My God, here. We're doing good here with the hatchet. You guys are the ones that brought the hatchet out. We can't just do this in like the third dimension or the fourth dimension. All right, this is the final shot. If I can't make it now, I'm no good. All right, stuck in the wall, but I didn't get it. All right, actually, it was all 3D. None of it was real. None of it was real. Oh my God, can we zoom in on that on that TV over there? That is badass. We got it. That's the damage. What if it hit the fire extinguisher and got me? Oh my God, I never got camera five. Can we show the TV over here though? Look, this is badass. Right here, this TV. Okay. I don't need that TV for now. I apologize. Everybody said it was a bad idea. Hey, great part of it was it was all simulated. Gentlemen, getting back to you. Let's get back to your video game and where you see the state of the world. Paul and Frank Stringini, tell us about your video games, your YouTube site, what you're doing. We're just trying to, I, we're just really passionate about being able to speak our minds. You know, and our, our, mostly what we're doing is we're having fun. Actually, we have a business together and our YouTube channel is just about having fun and expressing ourselves more. And, you know, it's not something I normally get into in our ordinary business, but like this is so important. We need to be able to speak. We may, need to be able to tell the world what we think. If, you, if there's a controversial idea that someone has, it's like it's not up to some uh, corporate oligarch to decide if I can hear it. And I'm just, I can't get beyond that. If we can't talk, we can't have peace. That's how we're going to get to peace. That's how we're going to get to a future where we have peace and not war. And it's like when they shut people down, they shut people up, they cut off their incomes. What's going to be left to them? What's going to be left to people who have nothing left? You know, they shut down, if they, you know, they go after your, your, your hosting. They go after your money. They go after everything that supports you. And when we made this game, in a, in a, I was a little hesitant because I realized that there's a bit of a risk. You know, you offend them. Like the guy who did the Trump meme with the CNN and the wrestling. They went, they went to his house. Come, I dare them to come to my house. They'll regret it. I live there. I live on the country on three acres. You won't want to be there alone with me and my sons. Keep going, gentlemen. I'm just busy playing with my axe here. Hearing I'm a bad person. Hey, I want you guys to on as a regular guest. We've got to get you an external mic, though. That's a very important part of this. So I, I'm very pleased to have you guys here with us on Christmas Eve. Ooh. It's great to be here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we welcome that. Definitely. So, so tell me about your political evolution to where we are. Like, you're horrible. Like, you want criminal justice reform so black people don't get triple sentences that whites get. I mean, you're with Trump on that horrible racism. No, you're, you're, you want jobs back and not one-sided trade deals. Uh, you want our troops pulled out, as Trump promised, out of all these countries. You want his borders to secure our nation. I mean, next you're going to say you want oxygen for your children. This is like, you want to apologize to the world for your evil? No, I don't actually. I wanted actually to make this as offensive a, as possible to, the, to those powers like CNN, MSNBC. I wanted them to be seen taking acts down. They're not people, they're corporations, and they can't control us. And there's no way, there's no way in hell I'm going to just sit by idly while they do this. They, when they took you down, that really bugged me. You know, politically speaking, I supported Trump. I supported Ron Paul. I've always been for freedom. We've both always been for freedom and about patriotism and about protecting America and our future and the future for our children. It's like these people are thinking about a future, but their idea of the future is they run everything. They own everything. No, that's it. They rape our free will and we don't exist. And they're pissed while we're pissed. Like we're not trying to gang rape their future. No, but that's exactly what they want to do with us. They want to be able to dictate, oh, this is what's okay to think. This is what's this so not So let me be okay. clear. I'm familiar with your work. Are you Paul or are you Frank? I'm Paul. That's what I thought. Frank, you're the quiet yeah, guy. Let's end the last three minutes with you. What, what do you want to say? Uh, I, I, I wanted to make America fun, uh, funny again. I want to make it great again. I, I remember senses of humor that I enjoyed when I was a kid, and I thought everybody just had a great sense of humor, so it was a natural fit to do cartoons. And the movement with Trump was a good fit for me because it was like everything I wanted, not just the family stuff, but just everything about Trump really rubbed me the right way. And <clears throat> like you said about your gut, I felt that about you, and I felt that about Trump. 
And it was all just freedom and freedom. And it's like a fountain of, of all these good aspects of Americana that I enjoyed. So without even having to really think about it and do uh, extensive uh, research beyond what just convinced me initially, the research that, what, that I did, uh, I was satisfied. And I felt right at home. Uh, voting for Trump and moving forward, uh, border security, the whole nine yards. And boy, has he not delivered or tried to deliver? I mean, how could people piss on what he's done so far? They're, they're, they're idiots if they do this. Yeah, well, they got to stop uh, maybe uh, taking the boob tube too serious and, uh, you know, maybe uh, go uh, do some other activities. That I, I believe might... he's trying. And, and if, they, if they succeed in taking him out, that's very dangerous. That can't happen, and I, I, that really concerns me. I do not want these, uh, because they're actively trying to assassinate his character, destroy his presidency, just like what they're doing with you. But I gotta say, I don't feel I was a victim. I feel very honored to be in this position, and all of us that stand together, whether it be old, young, black, white, you know, Italian, Russian, Nigerian, Mexican, we love liberty, and that power is incredible. And I gotta tell you, I've been around the country. I think we're winning way better than we know. We shouldn't listen to corporate media because I think people are awake, man. That's what I'm saying. I I, I believe, you know, they talk about the red pill, the blue pill, the, and the, the black pill, but I'm thoroughly a white pillar, and that's not a dog whistle. What that means is I have an optimistic outlook on the future. I have to. I have children. I no, get it. Black pill future. means you believe it's all F. You, you believe in the future. I do. I, I believe in the future and that it's going to be positive. Well, how about a platinum pill planet? then? Platinum pill. That's even better. I believe we're going to learn, like, we're going to learn to live together in peace and harmony. It, that's what we have to try to do, because the the alternative is absolutely unacceptable. Well, we I salute you, gentlemen. I'm very excited. Uh, what's the best website? Uh, we've got the uh, stringgeniebrothers.com, and uh, awesome job. We really appreciate both of you. Again, the best place to search, though, what do they search? Because, you know, because obviously people mess up on names. What's the best way to search what you guys are doing? I, it is kind of our names. <laughs> well, you can you can always Wall Street Genie is one good way, or just YouTube. Look up Alex Jones versus the NPCs. You'll.